us where the last video left off. We've just come down the leak and we're going up the Calden and I've just had to do a 180 degree turn here. Down there and into there. So that's taken about 10 minutes of manoeuvring but I've got there. So now Henry's just doing the locks ready for us to start. So where with the leak we were going up, 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 with the cauldron we're going down, down, down. There's three locks here and a bit further on there's another three. And then at some point we'll meet up with the river for a little while. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay because there's been so much rain over the weekend. There's a lot of water around. Anyway, down into the valley we go. Now look at this. Cheddleton Flint Mill. It looks unchanged from hundreds of years ago. And of course we couldn't resist going in to have a look. But this is a bone and flint mill and the flint would have been brought over from the beaches of Normandy prior to 1900. It had been loaded up into flat-bottomed boats and then brought by ship up to the River Humber and then by barge down to this mill. At that point, they would have been calcified, which means to heat them up, and then pounded into a fine powder mixed with water to make a slip and then dried out and added to some local white clay to make it suitable for use for the potters. treasurer she got all the money in to re redo this place and uh, then in 67 that they, they were formed into the trust that we are now and then we opened up in 69 but one of the trustees was a, a director at Minton and he gave 85 pounds of this of his own money and said we'll find it a home so that's how, that's how we, that we got it serious bit of machinery isn't it yeah we we don't really want it, but we've got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely bit of kit, though. Is, it well, just, is that uh, because of the responsibility of looking after it? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't belong here. <laughs> oh, wait, I see. see it, it, it destroyed the hyper course that was underneath here. Ah. But um, because there was an hyper course that ran underneath this one, so this was a part of the drying section here for for the mill. This was originally the before they built that bit on there. This was actually the sun pan drying area. So this would have dried the slip out, yeah. ready to make it into yeah. the clay to handle. Yeah. I yeah. see. Well, and slop we call it. Slop, yeah. Slip, slop. Slip. Yeah. But they <laughs> called it slip when it got down the potters after they added more clay to it. Right. And um, as you know, you, that's how that's how they add more clay to it, mix it yeah. all up with more clay, and then they make moulds out of it. And that's how, that's how things work. And they'd have heated it up. Yeah. 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 Hmm. And then our very interesting guide nice. took us into the mill house next door, which has been set up as it was in the 1930s. Everything's just as it would have been at the time. And in a photograph here on the dresser, it's a picture of the lady who was born here as a girl 
and lived here until she was around 104. As a child, she'd been washed here in the scullery. Oh, mangle. Yep. Yeah. You can do everything that way. Wash the kids in the sink. Have up your wet room as well as the scullery. Everything. Part your water in the corner there. Dip it into the um, oh, yeah, dolly yeah. tub or into oh, yeah. a bowl and then just ladle it over yourself. That'd be the way of washing here. Kids are standing in the sink and you do them there. That's why it was always low. <laughs> <laughs> my mum had one of those tubs over there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's there. I put my sister in one of them because I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 This morning we're approaching up the cauldron and then going towards Frog Hall. When we went up there yesterday afternoon there wasn't lots of mooring free but um, you're only supposed to stay up there for 24 hours so we're hoping as we come up that we'll see a couple of boats coming down because two boats went up before us already this morning. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find somewhere to squeeze in. We're running alongside the railway track here. It's really wooded around here. We're down in the valley. And the trees run down to the canal on both sides. Lots of this Himalayan balm. I'm going to pick some on the way back because the the seeds are nice to use. So we're in Flint Mill Lock and this is the test to see whether we'll go through the tunnel or not. Very leaky lock gates up there. First hurdle, tunnel light. Solar panel mounts. Definitely the chimney. <laughs> and not least, Henry's head. We won't be doing that then. <laughs> You're gonna risk it. Ours won't go through.
Good luck. <laughs> There's nothing I like more than a cream tea and there's nothing that Henry likes more than a steam engine. So today we're combining the two. And in a minute we'll be boarding this train. Oh, it's exciting. Sides. Now for our American viewers, these are scones and there's always controversy over the order in which you layer them up. But as far as we're concerned it's butter, jam and then the clotted cream and a strawberry if you have one. Perfect. Well, we finished our steam train ride and we're stuffed with cream tea. So we've plotted a route using our Ordnance Survey app, which we decided to buy. And it's quite a short route, but we're going to see if we can do it and not get lost this time. We're just going to, uh, I think the path takes us up there somewhere, up onto the top, and then it should circle back round to Froghall and bring us back to the other side of the boat. Here's hoping. This is beautiful, it's full of knapweed.
and then we came to a field or two fields both with cows and calves which was a little worrying because last year a lady was trampled by a cow and the same thing happened in this area in March so we were a bit unsure but carefully made our way along by the fence making sure we didn't get between any calves and their mums. Well, that was okay we made it through no cows or calves or humans were harmed Well, this morning we're heading back down the Calden. We're in desperate need of laundry and diesel, but we've totally run out of food, so we've come to the famous Hetties for an oat, um, what are they called? Oat cake breakfast. It's so pretty here. It's Tuesday morning and they're rammed in there, fully booked, but we've got to see outside and their cakes look amazing. They've got a yurt outside for inclement weather. Everything looks like it's baked freshly here. So if you're up this way, make a point of coming here. A little peek inside their yurt. So all eventualities are catered for. And over there, they have an Alice in Wonderland pod for those special afternoon teas. Well, that's us done for this video. We're back off down to Etruria, and on the next video, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. So, bye for now. See you soon.